BFTB boxing. Best fight the best. So this is a response video to a guy on my channel now by the name of um, Air Up There. That's the guy's name, Air Up There. Um, this is like, this is the normal. It's, it's There's nothing new about this dude. There's nothing original, special, abnormal. He is just a, a normal um, UK AJ protector weirdo. You know, they're normal. Nothing, nothing new. But um, you know, I did take into account some of the things that he said um, out of curiosity. I mean, I, I've schooled the shit out of this dude. I don't know how many times. But, you know, this is for you. Air up there. Um, I did print off a few of your comments. Um, and I read them, you know, while I'm on my little lunch break. So, you know, I want to I wanna address you. You know, I want to give you the attention that you need. Daddy's going to give you the attention that you need. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give you that, right? So, this dude says... And I, I mean, I, these are comments that I've addressed, but I, I want, like I said, I want to give him that attention that he, that that he that he desires, that he craves. I'm going to give him his attention. This dude said, "We do have very different perspectives on boxing, but I feel you're being sold out by Finkel. But your channel attracts idiots who ain't boxing fans. Ain't well, he said ain't boxing fam, but." I know what he's talking about. Who ain't boxing fam. Just thumbs up agreement merchants. I feel your passion. And I agree. Best should fight the best. So let's address that. <laughs> Stu says we have very different perspectives. Now again I've ethered this dude in the comment section. But, but again I want to give him the attention that he is craving we do have different perspectives we do my perspective is I will search the facts and I will give you the facts if the facts said Deontay Wilder was ducking then that's what my video would be about that's what it was about but the facts don't say that you know the facts don't say that so we do have different perspectives your perspective is 100% follower sheep 100 percent. you're not a protector you're a sheep there's a difference i i clearly can see the difference between protectors and sheep you are a sheep you will you won't address the issue you know uh, a protector will take the issue that i've given i mean the issue that you know where they say it was an issue they will take when i've debunked it and refuted it they will take that and they will use the exact same thing and they, we will just go back and forth about that exact same thing. Because they are protecting. They've come up with that to protect somebody. A sheep did not come up with it. So since a sheep did not come up with it, they don't have the mind capacity, the brain capacity to say, this was my thought. So since this was my thought, this is why I came to this conclusion. Sheep don't do that. Sheep will just... They will spit it out there as if it was some type of serious fact because someone told them that. And then once they are refuted and debunked, they will just change the subject because it wasn't their idea. It wasn't theirs. So air up there, none of these are yours. None of them. You are a sheep. You're not a, you're not a protector. You're a sheep. You just take what the protector said to you, you know, like those weird fucking channels that you keep commenting as if they would come here and your wording, your word was I'm a goldfish and they're a shark in the pond or some shit like that. <laughs> Listen, brother. Again, facts like numbers do not lie. They are what they are no matter who is telling them. So these fucking weirdos, these two weirdo bullshit channels, which I'm not even going to give them the credit to mention their name on my shit, but you give them credit 
since these two bullshit dick riding hating ass um, channels because that's all they are they are hating channels um, there is a group there is a there is a, a, a following a huge flock of sheep you know what I'm saying that are easily easily herded all you have to do is bad the same shit that they're used to hearing you know if you can bad that well then you'll get a bunch of you sheep to follow them and that's what these fucking two fools do and there's more like them. there's more like them. they're not original there's nothing original about them nothing there's nothing special about them i can do what they do easily all i have to do see the see that the majority of people are uk haters right Go to these shitman TV and dick and icons, all these other fucking weird, stupid fucking channel, hating channels. Go to there, post a hating video about someone that they're hating on, and then boom, here we go. Whole bunch of motherfucking flock of bad sheep would just flock right on over to me. Easy. That's super easy. And then all I gotta do is just keep 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 whatever whatever the narrative is being pushed by. Um, bigger hating channels all I gotta do is keep pushing that exact same narrative call it a day I'll, I'll build up followers and views and a whole bunch of you sheep will be following me the same way as these two idiots but that's not how I do that's not how I do because that has a shelf life because it's easily debunked it's easily refuted but if you spit facts people don't want to hear that shit they don't want to hear that the sheep don't want to hear that the sheep want to be led that's what they want. They want to be led. They want somebody that's going to fucking tell them that what they're thinking, you know, is is the correct thing. They don't want someone to say, no, no, my man, that what you're thinking is not correct. It is actually this. And it is factually proven that because of this. They don't want that confrontation. You know what I'm saying? They don't want that confrontation. That's why they don't like Wilder. That's why they don't like Spence. You know what I'm saying? Shit, they barely like Loma. But, the, but that's the reasons why. Because they don't want no smoke with nobody. They are smoke free. In, in, every, in every aspect. In every aspect of everything. They are smoke free. They want no confrontation. None. Even when you're telling them facts. They don't want it. Like air up there. Like you. You want no smoke with nothing. You change the subject on everything. Everything. You call people that come to my channel. They are idiots. This is what you say. They are idiots that don't know boxing at all and they come there just for um click thumbs up thumbs up likes but yet you comment dozens and dozens of times on every video that i make so you are calling yourself an idiot that don't know boxing that's what you're calling yourself i don't know if you're smart enough to realize that i don't know i honestly don't know Perhaps you are and don't realize that you're calling yourself an idiot. But you comment on my page more than anybody else in the past week and a half. More than anybody else. Anybody. Now, if you want to keep comment, do your thing. I'm not begging you for shit. I'm not begging anybody for subs. Nobody. People that come to my channel want facts over fiction. And even my opinions are based on facts. That's what they want. That's what they come there for. And that's what I consistently give them. And that's what I will always give them. Regardless of who the topic is. You, on the other hand, are a sheep. A, a bona fide sheep. This dude... This dude said... Unless you look at both sides of the argument, why should White fight Ortiz? He's already in contender position before... He beat former WBO champ Parker. What's Ortiz doing to enhance his rep? Beating Kajono. Come on, man. Okay. Again. Again. That is a statement. That's a statement from a guy that does not know a fucking thing about boxing. Nothing. And, and if he does have an inkling of a thought process about boxing, if he has an inkling of a thought process about it, he doesn't know the boxing rules. Again, I've already ethered them in the comments, but I'm giving him the attention that he wants. Section 3.23 of the WBC 
rules that came out in 2014, 2015. You know, those rules specifically and directly point out the rules for a WBC silver champion. I've said this before, but I'll say it again for you, Arab there. No one forced Dillian White to fight Robert Hellenius. Nobody. He did that on his own. Nobody forced him to fight Wilder's leftovers leftovers because that's who Robert Hellenius is. That's Wilder's leftovers leftovers. Johan Dupa knocked him the fuck out. And then Wilder destroyed Johan Dupa. But whatever, we're not even going to go into that. No one told Dillian White to fight Robert Hellenius. He did that on his own. And when he did it, he then became the WBC silver champion. Now, maybe he was too stupid to sit back and read the rules on his own. Maybe, maybe he just believed in the liar that Hearn is. Because, you know, for the longest, Dillian White has been saying he needs a, he wants a title shot. He wants a title shot. So the liar Hearn and his forked snake tongue said, okay, we're going to get you a title shot against Robert Hellenius. Was he lying? Nope, wasn't lying at all. Got him a title shot. The WBC silver. There's your title shot. You are now the WBC silver champion. But since this fool was too much of an idiot to read the actual rules and regulations of what a WBC silver champion is entitled to, I guess he figured that as, and like many of you sheep do, because some protector told you that, you know, him fighting uh, Robert Hellenius should be good enough for him to fight uh, Deontay Wilder. But if Deontay Wilder was to fight Robert Hellenius himself, he would be considered fighting a bum. But whatever, again, not going to even go into that. Just stating out a fact. Fighting Robert Hellenius for Dillian White made him the WBC silver champion. As the WBC silver champion, he has his own mandatories. If he wants to ever fight the WBC regular champion, the real WBC champion, he has two ways of going about it. Well, actually three. He has three ways of going about it. One, the WBC sanctioned, um, sanctioned by the board can um, say, okay, this is warranted. This fight is warranted as, you know, a mandatory or is warranted to be pressed. They have not. And that's like written. That's like a written exemption. They have not did that. The second way a WBC silver champion, you know, can fight uh, the regular or the real WBC champion, the second way that, that can happen is if the regular, the real champion, you know what I'm saying, says, I'll fight him in a voluntary. I'll fight him in a voluntary. If the real champion says that, well, then there, there you go. There, there, there's your shot at the champion. The third way that he can, well, actually, I take it back. There's four. The third way that um, the silver champion can get a fight with the real champion is if he fights a final eliminator, which is in the rules. Verbatim in the rules. The silver champion will not be considered a mandatory unless he fights in a final eliminator. That's in, that's in the rules. That's before he became a silver champion. That's before White became a silver champion. That was in the rules. It's his own stupid ass fault that he listened to a liar in Hearn or he just didn't fucking read it. That's his fault. So he can fight an eliminator. That's the third one. The, the fourth way is if he fights the designated mandatory, the designated WBC mandatory. If he fights the designated WBC mandatory, well then he becomes the, the only mandatory if he wins. So he then becomes not only the silver champion, but also the only mandatory. Those are your only ways. The only ways to get a fight with the real WBC champion. And three of them have nothing to do with the WBC champion. Three of them, right? You can fight in the final eliminator. You can fight the, the real... Um, you can fight in the final eliminator. You can fight the the real or the first mandatory, which is Dominic Brazil, right? You can fight the eliminator, which is Luis Ortiz. You can fight the real or first mandatory, which is Dominic Brazil. 
or you can petition the board, the WBC board, to get made as a mandatory. But even still, you'll be the second mandatory. You won't be the first because the first mandatory is Dominic Brazil. So that would never change. So that's what they're doing. They're trying to petition to the board to become a mandatory. But even if you do petition to the board to become a mandatory, you are still going to become the second mandatory. The only difference is you can duck Luis Ortiz officially. Because that's all you've been doing so far. But according to you guys, you protectors, I'm not, you're not a protector, you're a sheep. According to, to the sheep and the protectors, the fact that Dillian White fought Robert Hellenius, you know what I'm saying, and an old ass Lucas Brown, who, who hadn't fought nobody but Chagiev, you know, uh, that, that's good enough. That's good enough. And then fighting Parker, who ducked Deontay Wilder himself. That is good enough for you guys. That's good enough for him to be the WBC mandatory. Well, the WBC said, fuck off. This is what you can do. You can fight Luis Ortiz and become the mandatory, uh, the second mandatory, or you can fight Dominic Brazil and become the only mandatory. Luis Ortiz, Luis Ortiz is ready. Dominic Brazil has been calling this man out since August 25th. Where, oh where, Art Burnt Shrek? Where are you? Mysteriously, Deontay Wilder is scared of you. So fine, take him out of the picture. Fight Dominic Brazil, be the only mandatory, done deal. What's the problem? Fight Luis Ortiz, beat Luis Ortiz. Then you can go to the media and everywhere else yelling bloody murder if Deontay Wilder doesn't fight you next. Hell, if you beat, if this is for you, Arab there, if Dillian White beats Luis Ortiz, I, me, will be making videos petitioning Deontay Wilder to fight him next. Me. Because I want the best to fight the best. And if he beats Luis Ortiz, which I deem to be top three heavyweight, if he beats him, well then, shit, he's in the best. Then I want the, I want the best to fight the best then. So I will be petitioning. I will be making videos. But see, that's what boxing fans do. Fan bitches, casuals, and sheep will take that narrative and twist it. And they'll just say, oh, well, you know, Wilder doesn't have to fight Lewis or Lewis, he doesn't have to fight uh, Dillian White, even though he said he, he would beat him. Doesn't matter, you know. Wilder's the champion. He's the A side. He can change his mind if he wants to. That's what you motherfuckers do. That's what y'all do when it comes to Anthony Joshua. Y'all do that shit. You know? And you proved it. When Anthony Joshua said he will he give him 50 million and he'll take that fight tomorrow. Tomorrow, for anybody on earth, tomorrow is 24 hours. And not even realistically, because realistically, tomorrow is 12 hours. So 12 hours from what it is right now, this time, right now, 12 hours, it's 1.10 Eastern. 12 hours from now, 1.10 a.m. Eastern will be tomorrow. It will be Friday. That's factual. So for you guys saying, oh, he gave him a 24-hour deadline. That's more time, factually, more time than what Anthony Joshua asked for. That's more time. Because Anthony Joshua said, give him 50 million and he will sign tomorrow. Factually, all facts. Facts. Tomorrow, that's what he said. So whatever time it was, at the time that Anthony Joshua said that, 12 hours from that time, was tomorrow unless he said it in the morning <laughs> if he said it in the morning well then you can make a valid a valid point that you know later on in that afternoon was the same day but I'm telling you 12 hours from right now is tomorrow factually so if I'm giving you 24 hours which that's not what he gave him that's what Anthony Joshua said himself but if I'm giving you 24 hours, that's more time factually than what you asked for. Factually. So again, um, the last thing, well actually just one more. So he said, the risk that White took to fight Parker in a non-title fight, knowing if he got beat, his ranking would suffer, tells the story. Well, again, I've ethered this dude in the comments. But again, air up there. What risk did he take? What risk? 
This was a money grab. This was a straight up money fight. He didn't have, had to take no risk. This was a money fight. He could have fought Pulev for the IBF mandatory. He turned it down. He turned it down. He could have fought Luis Ortiz for the WBC mandatory and a voluntary fight next. He turned that down. Hell, if he would have fought Luis Ortiz when he was told to do so and beat him, Deontay Wilder would probably be fighting Dillian White right now and not Tyson Fury. But he refused. He refused to fight Luis Ortiz. Refused. Can't make this shit up. But he he tell, you're saying the risk that he took to fight Parker? What risk? He didn't have to fight Parker. Nobody was forcing him to fight Parker. He could have fought for the IBF mandatory. He could have fought for the WBC mandatory. Those are titles that he could have fought for. So he didn't have to take the fucking unnecessary risk that you're talking about. That was a money grab. The risk would have been fighting Pulev and losing. The risk would have been fighting Ortiz and losing. That's the risk. Fighting Parker was a money grab. He had nothing to gain but money. Nothing. It was the, it was the, the fight that was giving him the most money and that's why he took it. That's a factual statement. Factual statement. He turned down Pulev because it was, there wasn't enough money in it. He was the B-side. He turned down Ortiz for more than money, but he still turned it down. And he still wasn't making it. He made way more fighting Parker than he made fighting anybody else. So let's cut the bullshit. As a matter of fact, he made more fighting Parker than he made fighting Joshua the first time. That's a factual statement. Cut the bullshit, man. Just cut the bullshit, dude. Then he says, "The la oh, he says the last offer was agreed to by Shelly Finkel and Wilder, even on social media. Now he's talking about he's talking about um, the the offer, the 15 million flat fee. So I, again, I ethered this dude. You Arab there, you were ethered bad. So again, the 15 million that Deontay Wilder um, agreed to was for um, the the offer he agreed to was 15 million flat fee, a fight next in the UK. That is the deal. That is the offer. That is the agreement that he agreed to. 15 million flat for a fight in the UK next. Not next year. No, next. As in September 22nd, next. September 22nd, 2018. That just passed, next. As in that, next. That was the deal that Wilder agreed to. You can't just change the fucking, change some numbers in there and say this is the same deal. It's, it's on the table for you still. Agree to it still. As I said to you, there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and dozens and dozens of all kinds of offers all over the world that get changed at the last second. And when they get changed at the last second, one party falls out because they're like, that's not what I agreed to. common sense man this is what i agree to give me what i agree to we can make it happen if you take these parameters and make them these parameters that's not what i agree to it's not what i agree to so you can say yeah there's an offer on the table but it's an offer that i didn't agree to the offer on the table that i agreed to was for a september or not even september but a next fight it was for 15 million flat fee in the uk next those were the parameters. You changed the parameters. So since you changed the parameters, the fight contract is not the same. I did not agree to that. I mean, this is common sense. This is basic 101 type stuff. But of course, you all, because you're sheep, you will do what a sheep does. And a protector says, oh, well, where's your pen at, Wilder? Where's your pen? The contract is still on the table. You can sign the contract. And then all the sheep will be, will be behind the protector will say, Yeah, that's right. Where's your pen? Where's your pen? Yeah, yeah. Where's your pen? Yeah, see? The contract is still there. It's on the table. You agreed to it. Where's your pen? But then someone like me will come in with facts and say, 
brother, this is not the same fucking contract. Right? Wilder said, I want the fight next. I am agreeing to the fight for fifth of a historically low low ball offer, 15 million in in your home. But it has to be next. I want it next. I want it now. Next. I'm giving you everything you fucking asked for. Everything. The least that you can do is make sure the fight is next. But even that, you reneged on. Even that. You have no ground to stand on. You are just air up there. That's all you are. You are smoking mirrors. And I don't know what they're smoking, but whatever it is, they're blowing it up there to you. You are a fucking sheep. Nothing more. BFTB and I'm out.